Hey everybody, and welcome to the next edition of Three Ways in Flame. Now this one is on a, uh, you know, a really helpful topic and um, you know worth knowing, which is uh, three ways to apply anti-aliasing. Um, so this applies to text and your edges and um, ultimately your final comps. So let's dive right in. So let's just go into batch. Now there's there's three or four ways for this to be to be honest, but let's start. So I'm just going to pull out an action. And I'm just going to double click on 3D text and I'm going to make it uh, pretty big. And again, just make sure filtering's turned off because that's going to smooth it out by default, which is what we don't want through the viewer. So if I'm viewing that one to one right now, um, the first way you can always apply uh, aliasing in action is if you go into your node preferences and then rendering. And right now it defaults to one. And if we put this up to 16, you see we're getting nice smooth edges. So again, I'll put that down to one. And then 16, you see, that's one way to apply our uh, anti-aliasing. Put this back to one. The other way that, um, you know, if you have a bigger Linux box, it's, you're going to have bigger samples. But unfortunately, you know, on Mac, it's a little bit uh, poorer. So the other way is to, uh, to do it using this uh, with hardware aliasing. So again, you can see if I toggle these on and off, we're getting, we're getting exactly what we want. So it's, you know, it's uh, softening our edges, which, you know, sometimes you just want to do for certain things, um, be it high res images or whatever. So the other way is, you know, we have, um, again, just making sure that uh, it is turned off. Sorry, so at one and the batch preferences is off is the Lewis Saunders uh, FXAA. So if I just reset this and we just pipe this in, you can see this guy can give us some cheap and nasty uh, aliasing too and we have you know a couple more controls um, again it's, it's just finding the right tool for the right job see what we can get you across the line and you know that can do a, a decent job as well so the one last thing to remember is if uh, if you are introducing aliasing too there is the 2d transform so if I pull this guy out and again we view it one to one or well, we'll zoom in for now but if we put the anti-aliasing on and crank this up to 64 you see it's softening a bit, but again, if we change our texture, um, uh, these guys, which are to do with the algorithm, which um, usually can result in a lossless difference mat if you're trying to do stuff on parity. If we change some of these and go to EWA and linear, so we get slightly different results. And again, we're introducing aliasing, which is, you know, cool to know. Um, there is also one more way if you were working just with text. Um, and that's also to remember that with aliasing, no matter what you add in, you always have uh, softness options. And they always, uh, by default, it's auto softness and, you know, it can be whatever you like. Um, and these are also uh, definable in the preferences too, just so you guys know. So that's it for this uh, new segment. Uh, stay tuned for more.